Hi folks, so today I'm going to talk about a subject very near and dear to my heart. Welsh County Flags. Yes, that's what that thing was in the corner all this time. Uh, but one of my favourite pages on Wikipedia is the list of Welsh flags. Now it covers a number of flags used in Wales throughout the history of the country and, uh, and its existence as a part of another country as well, uh, that uh, I thought I might share some of the designs, some of the flags that are actually on the page. Now I'm going to focus specifically on the county flag today, but just looking at this page, I kind of like to revisit from time to time. I don't know if any of you guys have particular Wikipedia, Wikipedia, now I don't know if there are any particular Wikipedia page. I don't know if there are any particular Wikipedia pages that you guys like to revisit from time to time just to check out. If there are, let me know down in the comment section below, of course, because I don't know, there are some absolute gems on Wikipedia, and this is one of the pages that I just come back to time and time again if I want a good old look at some of the Welsh county flags as well as some of the Welsh historical flags as well. So we've got, of course, the national, the national flag, the flag of Wales, and of course we've got the flag of St. David as well, uh, which is a bit, you know, the flag of St. David is a, a more traditional style flag, more of what you'd expect from a flag. The uh, the dragon flag, uh, while it does have roots in history, is kind of very difficult to draw and I always feel that that is something of a failing of a flag, that it should be a very straightforward, a very sort of, uh, a very a very basic design, one that's not only recognisable but easy to replicate as well. And uh, as much as I like the design of the dragon, uh, and, and it probably is my preferred flag out of the two, it's definitely a shortcoming that you can't just draw a, a Welsh flag out as um, as easy as, as a lot of the other flags. Uh, so we've got, of course, the royal standards here. Uh, we've got the religious flags. I kind of like the uh, the flag for the church in Wales as well. That's a really uh, nice design, and that's an absolutely uh, yeah, it's an absolutely wonderful design actually. Uh, so I really quite like that. So, and uh, we've got, of course, other Welsh, uh, historical Welsh flags that have also taken the dragon sigil. Uh, and I'll, uh, there's some uh, w w Welsh royal standards there as well. Um, battle flag. Oh, I do actually, I gotta just spend a moment on the battle flags because the golden dragon isn't, that is an absolutely glorious flag. I mean, I just absolutely love the dragon design there, as well as actually, I kind of like the colours as well. They're really quite nice. So we have the uh, golden dragon here that was famously raised over Carnarvon during the Battle of Tut Hill in 1401 by Owen Glendower. And we of course have the Cross of Neath here, said to have been the battle flag of Llewellyn ap Griffith, uh, which is uh, uh, quite a uh, quite a striking design too. Okay, so let's get on to the regions, counties, and cities because these are the flags that I see uh, still around today. They're they're pretty interesting, and I actually quite like the designs here. So here we have the flag of Anglesey. We have three lions here uh, on a red background with a gold chevron. Uh, a wonderfully striking design there. We have the flag of Carnarvonshire, uh, and this is of course three golden eagles on a green background. So here we have the flag of Cardiganshire, a golden lion on a sable background. And now Wikipedia tells me this is not yet registered, um, but still looks pretty neat nevertheless. Now we have the flag of Glamorgan. Uh, this is three white chevrons on a red background. But here we have the flag of Merionethshire, which is one of my favorite flags of all time. Uh, and one of the reasons I decided to even put this video together today, because you, well, it explains itself really. Three goats and the sun. Uh, it looks a little bit like they're floating through space, um, but uh, I can assure you this is not a depiction of the Welsh space program, but rather just an amazing flag. Um, so absolutely wonderful. Uh, definitely one of my favorites of the counties of the entire flags in existence, quite frankly. Uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, now here we have the flag of Monmouthshire. This is the one that stays in the corner of the room here. Uh, this actually, again, is one of my favorite flags and it's partly because it's both unique uh, I like the colours in it as well, uh, but also recognisable and not too complicated. I mean, it's got the fleur -lis there, but really, uh, for all intents and purposes, that's quite a straightforward flag. And when it comes to county flags, you can be a little bit more decadent with your design, a little bit more extravagant. Um, but yeah, this is just a sort of a recognisable flag. It looks good uh, hoisted as well. Uh, which I think is maybe something to take into account as well. It's, it's all well and good having a wonderful design for a flag, but if it doesn't look great hanging off of a flagpole, that perhaps might say something more about the utilitarian elements 
of its design. So, but anyway, I really do like this flag, uh, partly for its simplicity, partly for its uh, design qualities as well. But it's, uh, yeah, no, it's a flag that I really quite like. Uh, and it doesn't try to be something uh, it, that it isn't. It's just, you know, it's, it's a well-designed flag. So here we have another not yet registered flag. This is the flag of Montgomeryshire. Three white horses heads on a sable background. Okay, so here we have the flag of Flintshire. And I must say, this is another glorious flag. I like what they've done with the cross here. But also, I like flags that take heraldic sigils, but not the ones that we see all the time. Not dragons, not lions, not eagles. But this is the Cornish Chuff. And uh, it, I think it's really striking in uh, how it looks, uh, and it's rather memorable as well. When I sort of picture the uh, Welsh county flags, uh, this is definitely one that comes pretty close to the forefront of my memory. Uh, and it just absolutely looks wonderful, if you ask me. It's something of a, like, it, it does have a reasonably standard design in a lot of capacities, but it's also uh, stylized a little bit. And I think that uh, that just, you know, it has a little flair. And I like that. I like that. And, and I like the, uh, the sigils that, uh, that's been adopted here as well. So here we have the flag of Pembrokeshire. Now, uh, for those of you that are unaware, the rose sigil in the centre is the rose from the House of Tudor. And the House of Tudor has a long history in Welsh history and Welsh heraldry, so it is certainly expected to have uh, its... Um, to be displayed on uh, some of the county flags here. Uh, and as we see, it is, of course, displayed on the flag of Pembrokeshire. But just before I leave you today, I do want to give you a look at the flag of Cardiff. Now, uh, here we have the red dragon hoisting the flag of Glamorden with a leak on a green hill. This is about as Welsh as a flag is going to get. They've basically got all the Welsh things and then just bundled them onto a flag, which, to be fair, is kind of what they do in a, in a lot of heraldic designs as well. So it is a little bit fitting. So there we go. That is the, uh, that is the flag of Cardiff and uh, well you know that's 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 even more Welsh than the Welsh flag isn't it really so uh, pretty uh, pretty nice there so uh, I hope uh, this video although a little bit different to the content that I usually do here has been somewhat a little bit uh, interesting please let me know any of your favorite flags down in the comments section below uh, that's about it from me today thank you guys very much for watching it's been an absolute pleasure making today's video and until next time I've been Chris Ware and you've been awesome Take care now.